All right, traders, hope you had a great weekend. This is the watch this video for Monday, November 13th. Before I get started, I'm going to slide a screenshot of my website's results page. So if you go to the home page, then click on results, it'll take you to this page. And up here at the very top, right in this area, unlike other sites, we call it our trade ideas before we enter them. Click here. This is what I'm trying to get you to do is click here to watch and hear actual calls made in our chat room. Uh, we recorded them to show you how different we are from other rooms. So if you click here, it takes you. Now, there's only two up here, but Wayne, Wayne uh, is getting used to new recording software. And I suspect a year from now, there'll probably be a hundred of them up here. He'll just keep adding uh, live calls that we make in the room. But take your time. Click on this one. Click on this one and watch them because they were actual recordings from our chat room. And I think you'll quickly see how different we are. There's never just a, oh, guys, I'm in XYZ. We walk through the idea, the setup give you reasons to stay in a trade, everything. Um, we're really, really focused on education. So take some time and watch those and then email me if you if you don't think we're different from other rooms or if you do, I'd like to hear feedback uh, compared to what else is out there. And believe me, I know what else is out there because I've tried them all while I was trying to learn to trade. Um, so the SPY uh, still hanging out near all time highs. So here's my list for Monday, <clears throat> ONP. Um, man, some of these Chinese stocks are going crazy. And this one went from 81 cents to 245. Should it have? Uh, probably not, right? I have no idea. Uh, and it closed well off its highs, but sometimes, um, I don't know, sometimes the next day, but usually after two or three days, these give a nice secondary setup. So I'm gonna start watching it tomorrow. <coughs> I told you the same thing about Craig, C-R-E-G, um, going into Friday, and then Craig gapped up on Friday, and I can actually show you um, a call I made in Craig when it looked like this, you had the high, then you had a lower high. This is the opening five minute candle on Craig. Uh, I called over the microphone, kind of like those videos you'll see. I said, guys, over 615, this could easily take out the high of day. And if it, if it takes out 615, takes out 614, which is right here, should probably, could, good chance it could get through the high of day. And then look to the left, you've got yesterday's high, or the day before that's high, um, just above. So that's what we mean by stacked catalyst. So called this long, over 615, and you can see uh, these are five minute candles, so 616 trigger price, 5, 10, 15, probably less than 20 minutes. It went from 615 to 939. A lot of money to be made right there. That's a good example of one that even though it went crazy and closed, you know, probably lower than halfway in its range that day, the next day we got a nice trade from it. Even though it closed well off its highs again, um, on Friday it doesn't matter. We had a really nice call on that one. Um, so keep that in mind. Whoops, come on, Mike, you can type. Uh, when I have ONP on watch, I don't know how, if it's gonna set up tomorrow or not, but I definitely wanna watch it. Uh, I wanna watch it going forward. Speaking of CREG, now this thing, um, you know, it's got massive topping tail here, another one here, but I'm gonna watch this every day going forward for a while because of the action. So probably won't trade it tomorrow. ONCS, uh, you had the gap up, sold off, sold off <clears throat> the next morning before reversing. So it was looked like this when we put it on watch for Friday. And then on Friday, just to give you another example of a call from a, you know, a stock from our watch list. Uh, these are our five minute candles. You can see there's the gap up day. There's the, the next day. And then this was the day um, that, you know, this was Friday. And I called this, you had the open here, it's the opening candle, early high of 214. It sold off, then took out the high of the morning and went to 218. Okay, when this candle, when this volume, see that little volume pop here? I called this long at 217, 218, 219, somewhere right in there, one of our Tokyo strategy plays. And the beauty of it is the worst case stop was 211, below this same candle. Now, why did I like it? Well, you had a long uh, consolidation here for support below. If you break through, if, if this breaks through the early high of day, which was 218, and starts to get noticed, you had the day before that, which would have been Thursday's high of 221. So 222 is another potential catalyst. So that's a great risk reward, $2.18, knowing your stop is at 211, knowing that 222 is another potential catalyst. And I said, and then it might run up and challenge that 250 something high from the other day. That's exactly what it did. Went right up to that high before giving some back in the afternoon. But that very low risk entry right there and a really nice percentage gain. <coughs> Excuse me. So that uh, that was ONCS, and I want to watch it again because it is really strong. Um, it closed well off its highs. Doesn't matter. It goes back on watch. Um, ICON again. Nothing really compelling about this chart. 
But I think if this can get through two on volume, we might get a really nice little short squeeze. So I uh, continue to watch it. Um, that's icon, sorry. Um, let's see, DCIX. Uh, you know, this was that one. If I kind of get some of that old trading out of there, you can see this is that one that went from a dollar fifty six to twenty eight forty eight in three sessions. Uh, it hasn't broken a previous day's high since then. It seems to be finding support. I'll go to fifteen minute candles now. Seems to be finding support around ten bucks. So this one might um, take off to the upside one of these days. I'll, I'll watch it for one of the setups we look for. <clears throat> EKSO, let's go to the daily. Really nice breakout on Friday and closed really strong. We'll see if we can get a red to green or something like that in that one. XNET, very extended, XNET, very extended. But remember, this thing just recently ran from, I don't know, four bucks to 12 something, no, to over 13. And then, and then in one day right here, a few days later, went from 11.50 all the way down to like eight. And you're thinking, okay, this move was really unjustified. Shorts are in control. And look at this, like three or four days later, it takes out those highs. So it's extended in the short term. Um, I think it's got earnings this week coming up, so be aware of that. But this one is absolutely worth watching all week for some trades. Um, let's see, X and AT. TOPS is just one of the low price shippers that I'm gonna watch. Um, it's basically round trip from shipper mania, so I'm not in love with it, but I did wanna have one low price shipper on watch for a bounce. JCI, a couple huge down days to support. Okay, this is a, kind of a recent low on the chart. Whenever you take out a recent low on the chart, and wh when I say recent, it really was a few months ago. Um, 36.74 was a low this day, but it fell really quickly and hard to get there. I'm looking for kind of a snapback bounce on Monday. GameStop. <clears throat> I don't usually do this, but I'm going to the monthly chart. <laughs> and you can see GameStop, GME, around 15 bucks. Um, you know, that uh, that's the most recent low in years. All right, so that one, for that reason, it's pretty beaten up anyway. It's fallen from over 20 down to uh, almost 16 on Friday. That one I'm going to put on bounce watch. Um, KBSF had this insane move from 2-something to 15 then uh, a big red down day and then another day, but it reversed on Friday and ended up closing above its open. So be very careful with that one, but it is worth watching for a possible little squeeze on, uh, on Monday. KND, really nice pop. I think this was on earnings. Now you've got three days lower on declining volume. Be watching that one for a bounce turn back up. And lastly, I've got OTIC, which had the gap up, sold off, and then you know already putting in a green day. It reminds me a little bit of that ONCS chart I talked about, right? We had the gap up, a green day, and then it ripped. Uh, going back to OTIC, you can kind of see that same thing. And this gapped up into this big gap here. So that one's a good potential long too. We'll also add some uh, gappers in the morning to watch. And that is plenty to watch right there. Have a great uh, rest of your weekend. Not much left of it. And we'll see everybody on Monday morning.